If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. Run. Get it to me. Make me hit you with my pocketbook. Say it again. Oh. Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Natalie J as usual. And if you are new, hi, hello there. Welcome to my awesome weirdness. Time to get funky. So lately I've been gagging over colorful brows and glitter liners. So they're makeup gods. Bless these fingers so I can get this done. Ha! All right, y'all. Let's ride this train wreck to the sauce. So I did start with some purple gel and set it with purple eyeshadow just to kind of get the flow of everything started. Then I went in with the lightest purple in the palette and started at the front of my brows and began diffusing the color. To a harsh brows, we say no! That's my wish! Then I took this pinkish purple and set that between both colors and started fluffing everything out just to achieve a gradient effect. In full effect, effectively? Ha! Like, uh, no harsh brows though, you know? So y'all, can we have a moment of silence, please? Because this pillowy space is the life, and I'm living for it. No, seriously, guys. If you have not, this base, please invest. It is everything, okay? Well, back to it then, mate. I'm now going back in with the darkest purple I used earlier to set my brows, and just placing it in my crease and fluffing everything into place. If your shadow is to make it blend away, then blend. Shh. I did go back in with the pillowy space and began cutting my crease to how I wanted it to be. Like these colors, okay? Can somebody bring me a fan? Cause my skin is hot. Bruh. But seriously though, all jokes aside, this palette is freaking amazing, okay? I will do a review on it, but I wanted to make sure that I use its ability to the limit just before I can sound legit, you know? Okay. Ha! After setting the yellow as my base color, I then went into some lash glue just to set it down and apply the glitter as liner. And literally, this is a total random compilation of every glitter that I have in my collection. And voila! Now for the tricky part. My preference was to do this with a different color liner, but I did not have one in my collection, so this would do it. Baby, let me upgrade you. I literally can never get liner right. Like, I go from bad to worse every time. Oh well, it's FaceTime. Now, adding my secret potion, I'm going to go with my Black Opal True Color Foundation and place it all over my face using a stippling brush. And honestly, most days I never go too close to my eyes because I'm going to put concealer there anyways, so it's a little redundant. <laughs> now I'm taking my Ella Girl Pro Concealer and just setting in the highlighted spots. And a tip I would suggest is to let it sit on the skin for a while before blending it out. Reason being is when it's watery, it's a little bit more difficult to work with, so letting it sit just kind of makes it a little bit more tacky and it becomes way more beautiful. Is that TMI though? Now I'm taking this Fenty Beauty highlighter and just summoning the makeup gloss to rain this glow on me because listen. The highlight though. Ha! Now all that's left is highlight to your heart's content. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say I love to highlight, like I live here for it all day shining is the goal the sun is my cousin glowing is key all of that all of that now taking my all-time favorite at the moment butter highlighter and i'm just going on top of the fancy and just buffing everything to a flawless finish i stand correct highlight is a queen okay so now that we don't need any of this powder anymore i'm just gonna brush it all away <laughs> and scene now on to the lips. Taking this dark purple lipstick, I'm just gonna start applying it to my lips. And it turns out I didn't really like the color because I'm not big on dark colors on my lips. So I did go in with a light matte lipstick and applied it over the dark color just to kind of shush things up a bit. Don't worry, you'll see. Oh boy. 
<laughs> it turns out it was way too light Bro. and not the look I was going for, but I made it work. Sorta. <laughs> Truth is, I just kept playing with it until I got the color right. There is honestly no secret tactic here. The color result came out really well compared to the color on my lid, so I was pleased. The makeup gods have tipped my fingers with their makeup glory, okay? Why don't you focus? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm taking my Urban Decay pencil and lining my waterline. Then I'm going with my mascara and just applying it to wherever is needed. Oh yeah. And just a point when doing mascara on bottom lashes is light brush strokes. Because if you smudge, it can be a total... Shut your mouth! Ha! And I'm just adding the finishing touches and I think that's about it. It's guys. I did it. I, 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 I did it. Oh, yeah. Honestly, it came out way better than I expected, so I am well pleased. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. <laughs> Not what I expected, but I'll take it. And that's about it. Autumns have the most beautiful time in the world. Bye. Mwah. If you love this video, you love the rest of my videos. So go check them out. Have a look see. And I hope you enjoy.